one of the biggest considerations we need to have regarding these floods is the fact that we are witnessing rapid large-scale changes in hydrological regimes as a result of anthropogenic climate change. Those are a lot of big words, but what's it mean? So let me break it down. Every river has a very unique flow pattern of high and low flows over the course of the year, which is determined by where its water comes from as each watershed has developed over the past several thousand years. Each river system is a mix of factors, but broadly speaking, in the mountainous coastal regions of Cascadia, most rivers here are nival in origin, or snowpack dominated, with peak flows usually occurring in the spring as snow in the mountains melts and feeds these rivers. However, our winters in this part of the world are rapidly becoming warmer and wetter, which means that these nival systems are becoming more pluvial or rain dependent, with peak flows typically in the fall and winter as warmer rainstorms melt what little snow exists in the mountains, which quickly floods downstream regions as we're currently witnessing. In a similar way, more interior glacially dependent systems with peak flows in the late summer when glaciers start to melt are rapidly becoming more nival and even pluvial in origin very quickly. And all of this has huge implications for these watersheds. You know, species of salmon who use these rivers to spawn and thrive in are uniquely adapted to the flow patterns of their native rivers and when we see heavy flooding at times when they aren't expecting it it can destroy their reds habitat features or sweep out and kill adults and juvenile fish altogether which can have catastrophic impacts on their already struggling populations changes in hydrological regimes can flood forests when they aren't expecting it drowning saplings and young plants as well as the various critters who call these places home while simultaneously drying them out when they really need the moisture such as during peak summer heat when fire risk is at its greatest. In short, river flow patterns are changing very quickly at rates that the species who rely on them can't necessarily adapt, which is leading to much bigger wide-scale problems and ecological collapse as a result of man-made climate change from us burning fossil fuels and altering the chemical composition of our atmosphere on a global scale.